Hi guys, good evening, good evening. Hi Mauricio, hi Dinora, good evening. <clears throat> hi. Hi teacher. Thank you for joining, how are you doing guys? The lady, good evening. Hi Ademaris, how are you doing? Hector, I'm great working, to see teacher. you. Oh, you're working. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you Miss, for joining. Okay, 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 Amalia, thank you so much. Uh, hi, Mr. Sanchez. Good evening. Great to see you. How are you guys? Everything all right? Did you have dinner? Just an hour? Ready to, like, just to go to sleep? <laughs> or not yet? Yes, teacher. All right. I, I was mm, dinner. So you had dinner already. Okay, nice. That's really good to hear. How was your weekend, guys? Did you have a good one? Did you rest? Did you work? Did you go to Las Luces Campero? <laughs> Not really. Nobody's into those things. I am eating, teacher. You're eating? Oh, well, that, that's, is that enough for you? Yes, my new teacher. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, 
And that's your dinner. Yes, oh. teacher. Wow. Sounds like a diet. It sounds like it's kind of a, a sort of diet. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy it, Miss, anyways. Um, and thanks, everybody, uh, for joining today. Uh, Michelle, good evening. Really great to see you here. And uh, well, guys, we're going to get started with session number 10, right? And part of the things that we are going to be checking today are related to, we're going to try to review un par de temas que teníamos pendientes, especially uh, direcciones, right? So we're going to try to practice those. Okay, Hector, that's okay. And uh, teníamos también um, some presentations, right? Like um, we didn't have like um, enough time for everybody to present in the previous class. So we're going to do that today. All right, guys. So to get us started, I have some questions for you. Give me one moment. And uh, I got this one. So give us some of your ideas. Look at number one. Um, if we are talking about El Salvador, guys, what's your favorite city in El Salvador? Or what is your favorite place? Hi, Juanjo. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Ezequiel, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, guys. Uh, Georgina, good evening. Great to see you. Hi, Julio. Good evening. Good evening. All ready. Hello, hello. Okay, guys, so look at number one. What's your favorite city? Do you have a favorite city? In El Salvador, right? Like in the country. What's your favorite city and why? No favorite cities? Mm -hmm. San Salvador, like Santa Tecla. <clears throat> Do you have a, like a favorite place? Teacher. Oh yeah, yeah. I my favorite place in in, um, in Ruta de las Flores. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, which of those? Because I think that there are um, there are a lot of towns that we normally mm -hmm. visit, like four or five, I think. Well, ellos son como pueblitos, right? But oh, creería yeah. que funcionan. I think that, that that can work. They are kind mm, of towns. Okay. Uh -huh. How how many mm. towns do you visit in La Ruta de las Flores? Mm. I just know Guayua. Uh, Guayua, Apaneca, Apaneca. Ataco. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't remember. <laughs> I think that was Salco and, and I'm not sure, Salcuatitán probably? Salcuatitán y Guayúa. Okay. Yeah, like five, I, right? You go to I, like five different teacher. towns. Mm -hmm. I live in Apaneca. Are you serious? Oh. Yes. And where do you work? Uh, I am work in Ataco. Oh, you were away. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> you work in a taco? Yes, teacher. So you work in, in a hotel in a or in a sort of hostel there in a taco? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. What is the weather like right now? Is the weather okay? Like to go to a taco? Hello, teacher. Excuse is me. the weather? Is the weather okay now to go to a taco? I haven't been to those places in a long time. Is the weather okay? Uh, what is the weather, teacher? Oh, weather is el clima. So is the weather it's okay? Cold, teacher. Is Very it cold. cold? Really? Yes, it's cold. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's weather, right? So weather is like el clima. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because it's oh, we are getting close to December, so. Oh, you're wearing like a jacket and everything. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so we use the word weather, right? Okay. Okay, okay. Guys, any other? So, okay, we already heard. Oh, okay. Wait, the Mari is in between a paneca and a taco. Which town do you prefer? Which town do you think it's better? A paneca, teacher. Why? And um, because is is very um, muy tranquilo teacher es más tranquilo que ataco ataco está muy fluido de, de turistas ahorita oh okay 
So a paneca is like calmer, like like calm, like more quiet. Yes, teacher. Okay, it's beautiful. Uh, I have visited. I have been some times there, but but I've never stayed. So okay, sounds really nice. So because of the weather and because it's calm all right okay cool cool sounds really nice guys what about the rest of you um i know that we got some people from different parts of Salvador. so do you have a favorite city we are not necessarily saying san salvador right <laughs> or a popa or there are some places that are cooler so um what's your favorite city guys or okay town let's change it to town what's your favorite town in El salvador yeah. And of course, why? Mr. Sanchez, what's your favorite town? Uh, I have um, uh, uh, um uh, I think for example, I like that many places, but a uh, mm -hmm. uh, favorite town for the visit is Chalchuapa, for example, here in Santa okay. Ana, because yes, because um, I I like um, that Tasumal. Do you know? Oh. I I know I know what it is, <laughs> but I have never been there. Never? No, I have I just I mean I have passed by on the way, but no, I have never been there. And is this it... place are um the um, uh, I don't know what uh, I know, I don't they, know they how are... to say it, the ruinas. Uh, yeah, uh, ruins or Arche archaeological places. cities, but yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, our two is the uh, the White House in the in this city and the Tasumal. Uh, then uh, there also, is one in Opico, uh, right? No, in Opico is uh, are the Hoya de Seren. Ah, yes, yes, that one. It's uh -huh. the other places, yeah. Uh, in Chalchuapa, Casablanca, and... Uh, yeah, and the Tasumal. Tasumal. Yeah. Why I, do you I, like those? I, because, because I like this... Um, uh, the, I, I like the, the, the archaeologic cities. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, um, the last week, we talk about the cities in in the world mm -hmm. and i say i like the machu picchu for the same case mm -hmm. i like this this uh, teams or this series because uh, um i like because of the, the history yeah i like the old history oh interesting okay yeah. well my best friend right now is in Cusco, you know and tomorrow she's going to machu picchu <laughs> So yeah. now that I, you say this, for like, example, I I would to like to visit the um, in Mexico is the I don't I don't remember the name this place, but it's not that. Riviera Maya or something like that. Yeah, but and I it, that uh, a specific place um, talk about this place. The um, and and the people say it is in in the noon when the uh, turn off the song in the ruins uh, when the song is down uh, the image I, I I don't know what to say um I, I say in Spanish yeah. <laughs> no. In in Mexico, he said. Mexico, yeah. Uh -huh. 
But isn't it the place where this movie with Mel Gibson was made, it was recorded or videotaped? ¿Cómo se llama el lugar de que está en...? ¿Cómo se llama el Ajá. I don't remember this name. But I like this. I like this team. I like the Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza. Ah, yeah, Chichen Itza, the Maya Metropolis? Yeah. That one? Yeah, oh, I like. Okay. But I would like to visit, um, I don't know, in the future. Ah, in Mexico there are a couple, like Tulum, Uxmal. Oh, okay. Well, sounds really interesting because I know that in El Salvador we have some archaeological places, we yeah. have history, yeah. but I'm like super honest, I'm more into towns probably or sightseeing. Um, I don't like ruins a lot. I have never been to a, uh, an archaeological site. So, okay, I think I need to go to, to Casablanca, you said, right? Yeah. So I think I really need to go to Tazumano no. Casablanca. Oh, nice, nice. Guys, um, what do you think about Jorge's favorite places? Have you ever been to these places? Do you like them? Or is there any other place that you think um, it's worth uh, visiting? Or is there any other place that you really like? Kenya, what's your favorite place? What's your favorite town or city? Juanjo, what's yours? Around uh, 10 years ago, I went to Machu Picchu. Oh, amazing. It's a okay. beautiful place. That rains are amazing. And um, the, I don't know how to say the landscape. It's, it's beautiful mm -hmm. and everywhere and uh, the weather the people is are are friendly and that's good place that's the, good place um i think something super common from people to who go to peru is that they bring to el salvador like the tea like the coca leaves tea did you bring some tea <laughs> yes okay yes the first day I, I don't know how to say marearse. Dizzy, you get dizzy. Because the, por la altura del que está el país. Okay. And I have to drink uh, coca, tea. coca tea. Yes, yes. Okay. And then? But and then, you didn't feel like any effect? No side yes, effects? Yes, my heart... Uh, running quickly okay so your <laughs> heart was that... pumping like crazy <laughs> yes yes okay okay oh okay so do you recommend going there absolutely that's a beautiful place and the experience is is amazing really nice did you go in a ranger style like with limited amount of money or did you go there like in everything inclusive? So food, hotel, yes, everything, everything organized. Inclusive. Yes, everything inclusive. I, my cousin, the, she lives in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, she came to El Salvador to take me and both we go to, we went to, to Peru. Ah, that's nice. Yes. Sounds really nice. Okay, cool, cool. Sounds like a really good experience. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think, but, um, so I guess you did the whole trip, right? Like uh, the, the archaeological place, then the, the seven color hill, I think it is, or seven color mountain. Mm. I don't remember that place. Uh, we just going some rains, a lot of rains, mm -hmm. and a Machu Picchu site. Ah, oh, okay. Or yes. probably no, but you said eight years ago, right? Yes, eight mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah, that place is, is existed. The thing is that in Peru there is a place that's called La Montaña Siete Colores, like the seven mountain color. Um, so I don't really know if it is Peru or if it is um, 
Bolivia, you know, so, but it's so famous too, in the same tour. All right, all right, interesting. Okay, well, guys, tell us, come on, you know, a lot of places. <laughs> so you got to give us the recommendations. Okay, guys, take a look at number two. It says, how are city people and country people different? Um, just to make a difference, uh, city people is like when we live in San Salvador, we live like in the um, most important areas. Country, we call country uh, here, not in the sense of país, but we call country here in the sense of countryside. And we call countryside like a campo. If you take a look at the picture, you have city uh, on the left and you have country on the right. So country here doesn't refer to país, but to el campo. Um, and the question is, how are city people and country people different? Do you think that we behave in a different way when you live in the city and when you live in the countryside? Would you like to live in the countryside? Do you live in the city? I don't think I live in the city. I live in a town. And probably I prefer a town more than a city. But I think a city is better. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think it's like um, people behave in a different way? Oh, by the way, the word behave, behave means comportarse. So do you think that we behave in a different way? Nos comportamos diferentes? Do you feel people behave differently? Yeah. Tell us guys, cuéntenos. What, what, what is your yeah. opinion? What, what are your... I think, I think uh, 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 the city people uh, compare, com, comparándolo con... Comparing? Uh -huh. Comparing con country people. It's mm -hmm. very different because uh, the people, the country people, is very uh, communi communicative mm -hmm. Communicative. Y humilde. Oh, okay. So we are humble. Uh huh. Oh. Comunicativa. What do you mean by comunicativa? Like, hablan mucho? <laughs> like, they speak a lot? Or what do you no, mean? No, no, because it, uh, the country people, when I knew in the, in the, in the campo country. Country, yes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. in the campo, it knew. Mm -hmm. They, Found, ellos buscan conversación. Con okay. Mm, uh, they, like they are friendly? Ajá, uh -huh, and friendly. Okay, y, so probably friendly. Y es very inter interesting. Okay. They talk uh, with their. Oh, okay. Okay. Very so they are humble. They are, yeah, I agree on that. People is really friendly. Okay. His life, his life is different. Mm -hmm. uh, That's right. uh, different with uh, city people. Very ah, different. Okay. okay. The city people, uh, como dice, le cuesta comunicarse con un desconocido. Algo así. Uh, like city people, is uh, they are not friendly, or they don't talk to strangers. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, the situation, the city people, the city. Mm -hmm. But it is okay. true. I totally agree. If you live in the city, you don't even say hello to the uh -huh. person next to you or your neighbors. Uh, yeah. If you live in a town or if you live in the country, normally you have to say hello <laughs> <laughs> to everybody. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Guys, what do you think? Do you agree with Mauricio? Do you have something to share? Tell us, guys, do you, do you behave differently? Teacher, I, my... My family lives in the in the city, 
for example, my mom mm -hmm. uh, live here in Santa Ana, my father live in San Salvador, mm -hmm. but we have um, the grandma family, mm -hmm. her sister lives in the country. He lives oh, okay. in the um, uh, Volcan de Santa Ana. Uh, oh, so cool. Yeah. And, and uh, with, uh, uh, when uh, he visit or she visit with mm -hmm. her family is uh, they are some different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mauricio says uh, these people is uh, talk more. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. more friendly. Mm, I yeah. have a cousin. And he is um, more friendly, is more humble, is humility. Yes, humble, yeah. yes. But but is a good person. Yes, ah, okay. They are a good person. Yeah, but it, yes, wow. they live is very different. They uh, work in the um, uh, cosecha. I don't know what they say, cosecha. Crops. That is Uh, well, you can say harvest. Crops are is la, um, los cultivos, but okay. harvest. Mm -hmm. They live with this, and, mm -hmm. but they are a good person. They are good people. Yeah. Yes, but I mean. Some different, yeah. Yeah, you say maybe this, they are. In this more, place is different. They are different, okay, okay. So they are more friendly and they are more humble. What about like city people, guys? What do you think are the characteristics? Uh, Dinora, I'm sorry, I saw you were ready. Please tell us, <laughs> don't withdraw. Oh, hello, teacher. Hi. I think the noise are different too mm -hmm. because in the city is more noise real. Noisy? Uh huh. Yes, but in downtown Campo. Uh, in the country. Mm, ah, in el camp. Uh, How do you say? Country, no, country. You can use this word, uh, country. Country is para el campo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's more silent. Okay. Because the house are um, um, separate. Mm, that's a good point. Okay. Yes. Oh, other different. Uh, the people have animal. Ah, yes. And, they can uh, have hens, chicken. Yes. And um, the people cultiva this. Uh, harvest or grow. You can use the word grow. Okay. Fruit and vegetable. Something. Uh, but okay. um, I I like the live in the, in the, the country in the country. Yes, nice. But but uh, it's uh, complicated to mm -hmm. translate the um, como to move. Sería? Canton. Yes, canton. Uh, a todo le llamamos country. Uh -huh. Okay. So, or in country, the outside. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, for um, oh, when the children go to the school or yes. sure, yes, it, I think it's uh, difficult, but the life is very, uh, is very um, exciting. Okay, yes, it's exciting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And maybe more mm -hmm. peaceful, right, sir? Probably that's the thing, as you said, um, it is quiet. Okay. So it is like peaceful, it's being, being like cool. All right, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, let me see, uh, Julio, regarding your question uh, about feel. In Spanish, uh, yeah, you have campo and we have a uh, campo. <laughs> But the difference is that feel, Normally, we refer to uh, a specific land. So it's como campo, pero de un área específica, right? For example, um, let's go to let's go to the field. Or when you say, "Oh, I am an architect. I am an engineer." 
I work in the field. So field es como en una área específica, right? De campo, trabajo de campo. But si hablamos de campo, de uh, los cantones, los pueblos, lugares separados de San Salvador, in that case, it is going to change. Ya no decimos field, sino que decimos countryside. Eh, esta palabra de acá abajo, countryside. But para hacerlo más corto, we simply say country. That is why question two says, how are city people and country people different? Porque estamos hablando de las personas del campo, right? And field puede referirse a un campo de fútbol, like a soccer field. Um, let me see, ¿qué más? Solamente un soccer field. O cuando usted se refiere de, de, a trabajo de campo. So in that case, yes, but otherwise, eh, si es una zona de habitación, uh, we call it country. That is the biggest difference. Okay, um, now Dinora mentioned something very important and that is the difficulties of living in the country. Now guys, question number three, what are the biggest problem with living in the city? Um, I think everybody lives in the city. So what do you think are the biggest problems? The traffic jam. Traffic, okay. Traffic jam, yes. In the city, in the city. In this city. Pollution. Pollution. pollution, okay, pollution, uh, traffic. In the city, a lot of time it wasted in traffic. Okay, so a Very. lot of traffic. So traffic, traffic okay. jam, pollution. Noisy, it's very noisy. Noise, uh -huh. it's very noisy. The products is more expensive. Everything is more expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Life is more expensive. Guys, anything else? There are more. Also flu. Flu. Flu like flu. Inundaciones. Ah, floodings. Okay. So floodings. Uh wait. And I write it at the bottom. So floodings in the city, okay. Inundaciones, all right. Any other problem with living in the city? The house is more um, juntos. Houses are too close. Yes. Too close, uh -huh. houses are too close. Okay, yes, you listen to your neighbors. <laughs> You listen to your neighbors' fights, music, dogs. Yeah, that's right. Anything else? A lot of people for everywhere. A lot of people. That's all right. It's so crowded, right? All the time. Imagine Christmas, guys, and imagine after the aguinaldo. Oh, that's gonna get super crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's go with the last number four. What damage do cities do to the country? So, de hecho, creo que ya lo mencionaron. I think you kind of mentioned that one. So we have pollution, right? So this is contamination. We can call it contamination, pero es más común utilizar pollution. So pollution. What else? Damage, remember the damage is el daño. What damage do cities do to the countryside? ¿Qué le causa la ciudad al, al, a los pueblos, guys? Contaminación. So, contamination, so pollution, contamination. Forest. Forest, teacher. The forest. The forest. Or like deforestation? Like not trees? Yes. Uh, okay, so deforestation. Could the, the tree people. Uh -huh. Delincuencia. Oh. Delinquency? Delinquency? Okay. Anything else? Migration. Mi migra, migración de los country a, a city. Okay, so migration, all right. So migration too. Anything else? Mm. 
I think we have really good points here. Okay, okay. amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Hector? Serious, uh, you, you ask to the people, serious. You ask to the people, you, you speak to the people. Do you um, speak to the people? Like when the you, question, when you question number the four. Yes. When you when you you when you speak it to the series, you are speaking to the people. Um, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, we can talk about everything in the city, right? Uh, people, companies, um, everything that you can find in the city. Okay, thank you. Entonces, the, the company uh, also give, give them mm -hmm. the more industry in the, in the country. Okay. So, yes, they bring a lot of industry into the country. That's right. That's a really good point. Okay, okay, okay. Well, guys, I think we have a lot of things we can discuss here. Really nice job by sharing your opinion. Now, guys, vamos un poquito a trabajar con el vocabulario que nos acabamos de, you know, uh, to get. Primero, guys, repiten conmigo. Repeat with me, please. We have the first word. This is weather. Guys, repeat with me. Weather. 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 Town. Weather. Town. Town. Easy. 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 Behave. 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 Humble. Humble. A little humble. bit of ha. Uh -huh. Humble. Humble. Okay. Harvest. 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 Noisy. 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 Voy a agregar noise. So, noise. 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 Grow. 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 Peaceful. 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 Flood. 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 Uh, pollution. 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 The money. Is peaceful. Peaceful, yes. Like peace. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So peaceful. Uh, next one, guys. Deforestation. 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 Delinquency. Delinquency. And migration. Migration. There we go. Okay, guys. So, de esas palabras from this word, ¿cuáles son nuevas para ustedes? Which are new for you? Behave. Ah, okay. Behave. Know, behave. Okay. Dizzy, too. Dizzy, behave. Peaceful. Peaceful, okay. No me digan que todas, guys, because I don't think so. Busy, <laughs> sure. Busy, okay. Yeah. Busy, okay. Revisemos again. Weather, weather, dijimos que era el clima, right? Algunas veces van a ver la palabra climate, pero la más común que van a ver es weather. So, clima. Town, son todos los pueblitos, right? Busy, what was busy? What's the meaning of busy? Marearse. Marearse, exactly. So, pero... Eh, lo utilizo siempre con el verbo get. I get dizzy. Yo me mareo. O si es pasado, yo lo cambio a get. I get dizzy. Yo me mareé. So no lo utilizo sola, sol, solito, right? Porque es un adjetivo. Um, behave. So tenemos behave, que es comportarse. No sé si ya habían visto la palabra antes. Behave uh, se usa mucho. Pero yo también puedo hacerlo negativo. Y puedo decir, se portó mal. So mis behave, behave, misbehave, right? Sería el negativo de behave. Behave, comportarse, portarse bien. Misbehave, portarse mal. That's pretty much the idea with that. Humble, decíamos que era eh, alguien humilde, right? So personality. Harvest, eh, son como los cultivos, el momento de cultivar, de recoger eh, lo que se ha sembrado. And estas dos palabras son bien interesantes. Noisy and noise. Guys, ayúdenme. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre noisy and noise? 
Dime un ejemplo. Give me examples. Ruido y ruidoso. Ok, ruido en ruidoso. ¿Cuál es ruido? ¿Cuál es ruidoso? Por ejemplo, I can say metro center. So metro center is... ¿Qué palabra voy a usar? Noisy o noise? Noisy. Noisy porque lo estoy describiendo. En noisy es el adjetivo. Entonces, ¿cómo utilizo noise? My sister, noise. Yeah. Uh, my sister is very nice. Noise. Pero si yo digo no. is, otra vez ah, no. utilizar noise porque no. quiero decir que ella es ruidosa. Entonces, es casi, tenemos la idea, solo cambiamos la palabra. My sister. Noise. Uh -huh. Pero necesito una acción. My sister make noise. Mm, There we go. Exactly. My sister makes Make a lot of noise. noise. Exacto, es la diferencia. Que noisy, siempre que usted utilice el verbo is, el verbo to be, va a tener que utilizar noisy. My sister is noisy. My car is noisy. My neighbor is noisy. Porque lo estoy describiendo. Pero si usted utiliza noise, es como el ruido de algo. The noise of my car, of my car, is driving me crazy. Uh, como, you know, ya empieza en este tiempo de diciembre el carro a hacer muchos ruidos, right? So, the noise, porque es el ruido de, so, noise and noisy. Se parecen be mucho, careful. but just be careful how to use them. Ok, um, grow, que es crecer, peaceful, algo tranquilo, algo apacible. Flood, um, any idea what is flood? Alguien lo mencionó por ahí. En um, El Salvador, there are a lot of floatings. In Málaga, there was a floating. In San Miguel, too. I don't remember the river. Inundación. So, son inundaciones, exactly. So, flood, right? Um, and, and I think those are like the most important words. Los demás se parecen mucho a español. Oh, and pollution, que es lo mismo que contaminación. Ok, guys, really quick. Antes de eh, movernos con la práctica of today, revisemos este vocabulario, please. En, con las palabras nuevas, escribamos ejemplos para que nos recordemos qué significan en futuros próximos, ya lo tengamos en el bolsillo, right? Guys, I'll give you five minutes. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos para que hagan sus propios ejemplos. So you can write your sentences. Intenten que sean... Eh, Oraciones que sean fáciles de recordarse, right? Um, con behave, yo le puedo decir a alguien, comportate. Y solamente digo, behave. Eso es todo. Cuando me despido de alguien, yo le puedo decir, hey, portate bien. <ríe> so, yo sí le puedo decir a alguien, behave, or behave well, right? Pórtate bien. So, solamente para darles un poquito de extra information, or just behave, comportate, right? Uh, guys, cinco minutitos, I'll give you five. Revisemos si hay palabras nuevas. And people, si no hay vocabulario nuevo, amazing. <laughs> That's really, really nice. So five minutes. Teacher. Mm. Yes, Ezequiel. Do we have to create sentence uh, with those uh, words? Only the words that are new for you. Only the ones you have not seen before. Ok, teacher. Probably okay. one or two words. Uh -huh. No van a ser todas. You know what is noise or noisy. Only new words. Ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome.
teacher, sorry. Hi, don't be sorry. <laughs> um, I would like to know what is the, the plural of flu. Um, yes, as floats. So mm, flood floods. Only you add letter S. Ah, okay, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. You're welcome. Sometimes uh, you also you will also see this word talking about float. Um, you will see this one, or people also write it as this way. So floating, float or okay. floating. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it will be the same. The plural is just with s. Oh, guys, are you ready? Are you done? Do you have a couple of sentences or do you need more time? Okay, I'll give you two more minutes.
Okay, guys. Um, so give us, tell us a little bit about the examples, please, uh, you were able to make. Um, does anybody have, ¿cuáles son las palabras nuevas, guys, for you? What are the new words? Easy. Okay. Oh, uh, what example do you have with easy? I feel dizzy after came out of the plane. Ah, okay. Okay. That sounds all right. Behavior to behave to behave. Uh -huh. Oh, behavior. Yes. What do you have with behave? Please behave. If you mm -hmm. don't, I will set your PlayStation. <laughs> okay. Sounds <laughs> like you are getting ready for your babies. <laughs> okay. That's all right. You know, uh, with dizzy, one of the things that come to my mind is like, I get dizzy when I look for my chancla under the bed. So <laughs> I think it happens to everybody. Okay, guys, ¿qué palabras son nuevas? What new words did you find? Harvest. Ah, okay, harvest. What example do you have with harvest, Maurice? My uncle has a good harvest. Ah, okay, so he has a good harvest. Nice, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Mr. Mauricio, usted me copió, ¿verdad? <laughs> Are you serious? Do you have the sí. same? The same sentence. <laughs> the same, like, the uncle too? Yes, the uncle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, guys. What else? Give Where us are... more, give us more. Yes? Where is? Weather. Weather. Yes. Ah, okay. What do you have with weather? The weather is cool this night. Okay, so the weather is cool. Ah, all right. Sounds good. And this is in pollution. Mm -hmm. The trash make pollution the world. Oh, okay. Very nice. So the the trash makes pollution the water. Uh, we can say like trash pollutes. Uh, so le vamos a quitar letras. Trash pollutes the water. So trash pollute. Trash pollutes. So le digamos eso the water. Mm -hmm. Guys, any other example? But very nice. Sounds actually a very nice example. Any other guys? Teacher. Yes, miss. Uh, for me, the new word, flu, inundación. Ah, uh, floating, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, my sentence is, the city flew when rain. Ah, my city, okay, my, sis, my city flows when it rains, yes. And that is a reality in El Salvador, okay. Do you have yes. another? Me? Yes, 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 do you have uh, another word? Uh, other word, harvest. <laughs> and my sentences, Pero my, no tiene, my uncle no, has no, no, no. <laughs> it's my grandmother. <laughs> Okay. My grandmother harvests tomato. Ah, okay. So she harvests <laughs> tomato. <laughs> yes. Okay. Any other guys? What else do you have? La, teacher, sorry. Yes? La mía ya la dijo ahí, Mr. Mauricio. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you for the, um, avoiding him there for <laughs> But that is super weird that you, you two have the same sentence. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, if you have like a sentence and you want to make sure you are having it right, please uh, write it in the chat and I am more than happy to check that for you. All right, guys, now let's get into the things that the most or I care the most today. Um, there was this topic from unit number two that for some reason, algunos eh, les estaba dando like un colapso mental, you know, <laughs> that is giving directions. 
Giving directions no es difícil, it is not hard, but vamos a memorizarnos a couple of expressions or a couple of words uh, to give directions, to talk about places, right? Even if I'm describing a city, a town, my house, etc. So it is always important to memorize some expressions. Wait, ¿dónde los dejé? Where did I put them? Give me one sec. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. For example, look at this. Um, the person says, asking for directions, excuse me, how do I get to the bank? Go straight. Guys, get to go straight. What do you remember from this one? Ir recto. Ir derecho, ir recto, yeah. so I guess, right? In línea recta, okay. Yeah, and recto. then the person says, turn right, and the bank is on the left. So no se complica mucho, just look. Go straight on Marley Avenue, Turn right at the end, the bank is on the left. So, la idea is entre menos decimos, la gente más recuerda. Number two, excuse me, is there a bank near here? Yes, there is one on the Sixth Avenue. Si se ponen las calles, you can use them. Walk three blocks, turn left, and it's across the supermarket, right? Or we can use go down. Excuse me, is there any restroom? Where is the restroom? Go down the hall, so go down, váyanse hacia abajo, go down, and it's on the right. Entonces la idea es hacerlo lo menos complicado that we can. So the least complicated. And um, give me one second. Give me one second. I have something to share with you. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So, okay, okay, guys. Let's do something in the in the, go, please, to your uh, WhatsApp. No sé si van a poder. I really hope you can. And I'm gonna share something in the group. Give me a moment. And uh, so, guys, I want you to check it. No sé si lo pueden abrir. Give me confirmation, please. And I just want you to watch it. Quiero que lo vean hasta eh, 1.40, please. Solo es un minuto 40. Listen carefully to the descriptions, right? Bienvenidos ya. Uh, con los anuncios and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, listen carefully, right, to the description. And no, no vayamos más del 1.40, please. Don't go more than 1.40. And I want you to tell, I want you to tell me, ¿cuál es el lugar? So, what is the place? Or where is the place? ¿Lo pueden abrir, guys? Can you open the material? The, the, yes. Okay. Creo que algunos están en el teléfono. Le va a dar un poquito de problema, but hopefully it can work. Y hay que oír el anuncio primero. <laughs> I know. Yes, I know. Es parte del show, you know. So, 140, guys. No more than 140.
No más de 1.40, guys. I start to hear it again. Okie dokie. Uh, guys, how you doing there? ¿Ya encontraron? Did you find it? I'm still You're still listening. I'm still lost. <laughs> You're still lost. <laughs> Hasta el 1.40, guys. Okay, les dejé por acá el mapita. Uh, I left the map right here para que ustedes se ubiquen from here. So, uh, it says start here. Y ellos mencionan uh, pizza, mencionan, I think, hot dog or something. So, ubíquese acá en el mapa. So, you can use the map as reference and para dónde van. So, where are they going, right? Uh, para que lo, lo identifiquen. Hace el 1.40, guys. Listen up to 1.40. Eh, I'll give you some more minutes y me avisen cuando ya lo tengan. Let me know when you're ready. Teacher, sorry, no estaba, no, no estaba ahorita, ¿qué están haciendo? Oh, okay, so go to the group, go to the WhatsApp group, um, and in the group in WhatsApp, va a encontrar un video, you're going to find a little video, so con ese video, with that video, escúchelo, listen to that, y va a encontrar este mapa que usted ve en mi pantalla, this map, es donde la persona está, so start here. Yeah, and then you have north, south, west, and east. Pero él quiere llegar a un lugar. So la pregunta es, ¿a dónde está ese lugar? Va a escuchar hasta el minuto 1.40. You're going to listen up to 1.40. Y van a encontrar el lugar. So solo es 1 minuto 40, 1.40. And la pregunta es, ¿a dónde es que esta persona va? ¿A dónde es el lugar eh, que le están dando indicaciones? Right? Um, so, me confirma, Hector, si logra abrir el video. Ok, teacher, ahorita veo, gracias. Ok, ok.
Go more minutes, guys. Okay, guys, sir. Quick question. Encontraron el lugar? Did you find the place? Or todavía no? How was the listening? ¿Les costó? ¿Lo encontraron difícil? How was that? Very easy. Very easy. No les costó mucho, guys. It was not that hard? No. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, now, really quick. Um, ¿Cuáles son las instrucciones que la persona dio? Help me, please. Go straight at five o'clock, work at five o'clock, then uh, turn the right, uh, work at three, three block in the corner, uh, how dark, turn the right, Work at three block in front. Okay, okay. So this is on the store from where I am right now. So I'm starting here in the city square. But on the way, where am I supposed to go? North. North. Okay, I go north. How many blocks? Five. Five, five blocks. Okay, five. So I'm gonna go like here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I get here and then east. Down there, right? Okay. How Work many blocks? Is three blocks. Three, three block. Three blocks until you get to the hot dog car, uh, dog. car right? Okay. Yeah. And then turn. To turn the right. To turn the left. left. Uh huh. Turn left. Walk uh, three, three block. block. And Pass go. Okay. Go to the, the end of the street block. and. And from across the strip exactly the place is across the street so what is the place it is this one right this one the big one yeah that is the place that you need to get to okay guys lograron encontrar el lugar were you able to get to the place sin ver el resto del video yeah yeah okay vieron después de 1.40 did anybody see after 1.40 Yes, yes. yes. Okay, guys, los demás vieron el resto del video? Did you see the rest of the video? Yes, teacher, I yes, saw. Teacher. Okay, y si se habían percatado, did you like notice about the pickpocket? Si se habían yeah. dado cuenta que les estaban robando? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay. Well, I didn't. <laughs> the first time, la primera vez que vi el video, was like, wait. <laughs> so I did not see that. Okay, la idea era verlo hasta el 1.40 para que no vieran la respuesta, right? <laughs> okay, but that sounds all right. So if you take a look, exactamente vamos a intentar hacer algo similar. We're going to try to do something similar. And, okay, one sec, let me erase this. Okay, 
And uh, just remember, la pregunta normal es like, excuse me, how do I get to the bank? Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Excuse me, could you tell me where the restrooms are? Son las preguntas más comunes. Okay, guys, so we're going to practice asking about places. Vamos a utilizar este mapita que está súper bonito. We're going to use this little map that is right here on my screen. Um, obviously, we can use north, south, east. Si ustedes se pueden los, or, eh, los puntos cardinales, pero si es muy difícil, better not. <laughs> pero utilicemos los nombres de las calles. You can use avenues, streets. Uh, podemos decir vaya hacia arriba, that is go up, baje, go down, go straight, uh, go to the corner, and imaginémonos que eh, todos estos son lugares grandes. Solamente para darles eh, un poquito here, esta figurita que está en medio, so um, we can call it statue, right? So, Y también le puedo decir como váyase pasando. So, go past the statue, váyase a través de un lugar. So, uh, o en la esquina, por ejemplo, en, la, en el semáforo, in the traffic lights, o era the traffic lights, doble a la derecha. So, puedo utilizar los mismos lugares para dar referencia, all right? So, um, vamos a comenzar. We are going to get started in letter A. Eh, iniciamos, guys, desde la letra A. We're going to get started over here from letter A. Uh, vamos en esa dirección. And we want to go to a couple of places. Guys, ayúdenme a dónde podemos llegar. Where can we get to? Los que encuentren más difíciles. School. Okay. Where, oh, my God. Where is the school? <laughs> I don't see it here. Oh, okay. It's on the corner. All right. So, school. What else, guys? It's a little difficult because there are a lot of lugares. So where do you think it can be hard to get? Swimming pool. Swimming pool, swimming pool. Where is the swimming pool? What place is close? Uh, for the city hall. City Hall, City Hall, Post Office. Ah, okay. Ah, very nice. Okay. Swimming pool. Okay. I'm going to include the travel agency. I think it's really hard to get to this place. What else, guys? Post Office. Post Office. Where is the Post Office? In front of travel agents. In front of travel agency, Post Office. Okay, so post office. Okay. Oh, and I want to also get to the, I want to get to the petrol station. So I want to get to this little place right here, right? That is the petrol station. Okay, guys, so we're going to try to practice, of course. Um, si tienen tiempo suficiente. Intenten practicar con otros. Si necesitan escribirlas primero, it's okay. Aunque lo más recomendable es que escriban solamente las, las instrucciones, como go straight, turn left, turn right, eh, walk two blocks, three blocks, go to the corner of the street, como lo más importante, right? Para que luego podamos uh, talk about it. So give me a moment. Guys, los voy a invitar a grupos para que podamos unirnos un momento. Eh, voy a compartirles el mapa para que no lo tengan ustedes que um, to take it or to get a picture or anything. So, give me one moment. Okay, guys, I'm going to send you there. Ahorita les comparto el mapa. Um, so, Mr. Sanchez, que es acá, porfa. Ezequiel, que es aquí. Dinora, que es aquí también. Eh, Amalia, no sé si ya está acá Amalia, que es acá Amalia, please. En Abigail, que es aquí Abigail, please. Stay here, guys. Los demás vamos al grupo, please. Go to your group. Eh, tenemos like 10-15 minutes to practice y luego tenemos un par de voluntarios. Then we're going to have some volunteers. So, les comparto ahorita. And there we go.
Uh, guys, um, let me see. Okay, so Julio, intentamos unirnos al grupo. Please, está por aquí. Mr. Narváez, join the group too. And guys, los demás eh, pueden empezar a practicar. You can start practicing. El mapa les va a quedar por acá para que también el, los demás grupos lo puedan ver. So the rest can see them. Yes, ya les compartí. Okay. So guy, which one do you do you want to start? Hello. Hello, Miss. I see um petrol. Petrol. Shell. Okay. Shell petrol. Okay. Mm. Yo tengo que decirlo. Ok, ok. Try it. En... Ok. Go. Sorry. Um, take the Marlene Avenue and what for for three of block and to the to the left in the petroleum shell is is from the no is from the hospital In front of the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me try with the school. Um, I go. Did you, did, stay, you, did you finish? Did you yes, finish? you stay the uh, the petroleum. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. For um, uh, walk straight. On Marley Avenue. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, three block. Mm -hmm. Then in the roundabout, this key turn turn left and walk uh, two block. Go up two block, and at the corner, and right hand is the is the school. Okay. Somebody else. Alguien más que diga la o que diga otra? The swimming pool. Okay. Um, go straight one block in the Marlin Avenue and turn left on the Presley Avenue. Walk two blocks in front of the stadium is the swimming pool. Okay. Ya todos lo dijeron. No. Um, post office and travel. Travel, Travel agency. Agency, okay.
¿Quién está participando ahorita? Nobody. Ok, voy a tratar de... Esperando, escuchar. estamos con alguien más. Ah, ok, bueno, entonces, um, sí, voy a ir a, a los que están señalados, ¿verdad? Yes, thank you. Yes. Ok, um, comenzamos desde la stay, work stay, en... Tour left, no, tour, tour, tour left, and continue work and stay for one, for two blocks on Priestley Avenue. Ese es pool, no sé, no se lee muy bien qué es ahí. Ese pool. No sé si llegaron con mi dirección. Who else? Already, already, guys. 
Already. Yes. So let's try um, with the new places. So I have already changed the place where you start. Okay. Let's try to get to the other places. Try to also change the equation. Um, so you can ask like, excuse me, where is the nearest bank? Uh, there are a lot of different ways to how to ask for places. So let's try to um, change that as well. Okay. <laughs> Comienzo yo. Nice. Yes, yes. Ok. Um, voy a ser el del de, hotel, el hotel. Ok. Go straight one block. Then turn. Turn right. And walk to block. Uh, in Marley Avenue, then turn right again, and, and walk one block. Okay. It's in front of the market, the market square. Okay. Finish. Yes. Okay. And I stay in letter B. And I want to um, go to the chi Chinese restaurant. Well, um, Sorry. Excuse me. Go take the Queen Street and to to the left and go go to go to Marlin Avenue and walk for three block after to the tour the the drive and walk and walk along mm. Coban, Coban Road and take for one block, sorry, two block. And the uh, Chinese restaurant is from the school. I finish. Okay. Me, okay. I'm go to the garage. I say letter A. Go straight and go to the end of the Marley Avenue for one, two, three blocks until Rotonda. In, in the corner is garage. In front of cinema, all of that. Okay. Who say cinema? Oh. Oh, okay.
Okay, I go to Chinese restaurant. The sailor is A. Um, go straight or oh, go to the end of my late office. Pardon. Go to the end of the Marley Avenue for three blocks until Rotonda and some left for one block on Cobain Road until Elton Street. Cross Elton Street. Um, in front of a school is Chinese restaurant. I go to the hotel, stay late in eight. Go straight for Marley Avenue for one, two, three blocks until O'Connor Lennon Street. And then to Ryan. And in front of Marker Square is Hotel. I'm sorry, you said in front of the market, right? What you said, teacher? No, no, no. I was just sorry. I was just asking um, about the instructions to get to the hotel. So, but I think it was Abigail. I'm not sure. Sorry. I'm not sure. I think it was Abigail um, who was talking about how to get to the hotel. <clears throat> So I was just asking about the, the, the instructions she gave, but that's just fine. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, the cough doesn't wanna leave me alone. <clears throat> All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for coming back. Um, let's take a look at some of the places we have right here, right? So we can have some volunteers and we can practice. I think that you kind of practice these ones, so we are super good with them. Um, so in that case, let's just make a little change in here. Give me a moment. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna select a liturgy. This is gonna be Jackson Road. And guys, we wanna get to a couple of places. So from that one, we wanna get to the shopping center right here. We wanna go to the music shop. Uh, I think it should shop sounds good right here. And I think going to the uh, hotel sounds like a really good option. So excuse me, guys, let me see. Blanca, are you here? Noe, are you with us?
Hi, teacher. Hi, how you doing? Un poquito más de la garganta, fíjese. I can hear that. Okay, no worries, no worries. That is totally fine. I'm not going to ask you to effort. <laughs> Your no, voice no. match. Um, let me see. Who haven't I heard? Michelle, are you with us? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Hi. All right, Michelle. I really need your help. Okay. I'm super lost and I'm at the hospital right now. I'm just finishing some x-rays. But the thing is that I need to go to the um to the shopping center. And I'm not sure how to get there. Can you please help me? Yes, uh, to um, the point, uh, the point of salida is hospital. Uh, I'm outside, yeah, I'm, I'm right outside the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, go to go to road and take a round and, and uh, take a avenue, uh, Marley Avenue. Okay. And next, Next, the left to a street, Lennon, no, Lennon Street. Okay. And go uh, I'm, to... I'm sorry, you mentioned I go over Marley Avenue, but like how much? Because I don't know the streets how much. So oh. like, is it in one block or two blocks or? I'm sorry, I go, I, I see to shoot shot. Shoe shut and is shopping center. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I I confuse and mm, it's okay. Go to for uh, five minutes. Wall to Marley Avenue. Okay. And next, uh, go to a uh, right. I'm sorry, left. left. Okay, so turn left. But I'm sorry, where? Where should I turn left? Uh, left in Queen. Puedes utilizar lugares de referencia too. Oh, thanks. Como en este lugar, doble la izquierda. Uh -huh. Left to um, tourist office. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Queen Sands. That's a street. ST okay. is a street. Mm -hmm. And Queen uh, left Queen Street. Okay. And go to shopping center. Okay, so I turn left, right? At yes. the tourist turn office. Left. Okay. So I turn left and turn I get to the shopping center. Okay. Thank you so much, Michelle. Sounds really good. Okay, guys, de que otra forma eh, podemos también dar la misma instrucción. Remember, son direcciones, así que hay más de una forma de decirlo siempre y cuando la persona llegue donde necesita. So, um, I'm, I'm at the hospital. ¿De qué otra forma podemos decirlo o dar la instrucción, guys? Help us. Teacher. Yes, Miss. Well, I think uh, go straight until mm -hmm. Rotonda. Ah, una rotonda, creo que no lo hemos visto. So that is a roundabout. Okay. Round, a roundabout. A roundabout. Uh, mm -hmm. Very nice. Then, uh -huh. so left. Okay. On Marley Avenue for okay. one, two, three blocks. Okay. Until Queen Street. Okay. And okay, <laughs> to le left, turn left, okay, for uh, work along, or, work along, all right, uh -huh. and cross from a station is shopping center. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, yeah, sounds good. That's another way to get to the same place. Very good, Abigail. Thank you so much. All right, guys, let's change places a little bit. So, but I am at the hospital. Um, so let me see. Who haven't I heard? Um, 
Mm, Kenya, are you with us? Yes, teacher. Amazing. All right, Kenya. Um, I am having a little, a little bit of difficulty. Um, I just finished here at the hospital, but the thing is that I need to go to the hotel to pick up my bags. Um, so Miss, how can I get to the hotel from the hospital? Okay, go straight until run about. Then to left mm -hmm. one block. Okay. Then to left again. Okay. To Lennon Street. Okay. And the hotel is there. <laughs> oh, okay. You're going to pass for a pool, and after that is the hotel. Very nice. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right. Actually, this is quite complicated porque es como, yeah, solo darle la vuelta, right? But it's really complicated. All right, very nice job with that. Guy, uh, guys, alguien más nos quiere ayudar with the hotel? ¿Tienen otra forma de decirlo? Another way to get to this place? From the hospital to the hotel. Anybody? Um, sir, where? Really, yes. Where is hospital? Uh, the hospital is the, no, no, no. The hospital uh, is right here. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go straight. Go straight ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, in the corner. Mm -hmm. Under. Under left. Okay. Walka, Walka. Yeah. Uh, Avenue, Marlin Avenue. Okay. On the left in the Len Lennon Street. Okay. Walk down. Okay. Uh, the hotel in front of the Marker Square. Okay, okay, nice. You gave me other places as reference. Really good, exactly. That's the idea. All right, thank you so much for that. Let's make it. I, I feel it is too easy. Wait. <laughs> Let me see if I can complicate it a little more. Okay, guys, we are in Yelton Street. Let's see if we can make it a little bit uh, hotter here. And I want to go to the um, shoe shop. No, it's too easy. And I want to go to the stadium right there. Okay, uh, let me just pick a couple of more victims. Um, Amalia, are you with us? No sé si, probably not. Okay, Lady, are you with us today? All right, looks like now, uh, Georgina. Ay, se me fueron a dormir, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they were Hi. Me. Okay. Hi. Hi, Miss. Okay. Uh, can you help me, please? Um, I am right here. I am in letter E, right, in this arrow. And I want to get to the shoe shop. How can I get to the shoe shop? Okay. Um... Uh, go straight. Mm. Um, for Elton Street. A street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So go straight. Mm -hmm. This is another one. Okay. Uh, welcome. Mm. Seven minutes. <laughs> okay. Um. And um, uh, turn uh, left. Okay. And uh, for pizzeria. Okay. And 
um, go straight for five minutes. Uh, bueno. Um, Puede utilizar bloques. You can use the word blocks, right? Uh, como para las cuadras, that's a block. Uh -huh. and go Creo que es más fácil. Uh, one block. Okay, yeah. Uh, and turn turn right yeah turn right porque va hacia abajo uh -huh. turn right um, for Marlene Avenue okay and go straight um, for um a, 10 minutes and, mm -hmm. and I'm ready. <laughs> okay, and, and then solamente dígame lugares de referencia. Where is the shoe shop? Um, from the tourist office um, after the video shop. Very nice. There we go. Okay. Okay, thank you. Actually, um, I don't know why I feel this was a complicated for como el círculo, right? And everything. But you got it. Very nice. Okay, guys, ¿cómo puedo llegar? How can I get to the same place? Pero del, del otro lado. I'm here. And ¿cómo lo haríamos llegar usando esta? How would you do that? Can anybody help us? Alguien que nos ayude, guys? Can anybody help us with this? I am, in the, I am outside the school. Go down. Okay. For, uh, turn right in Marlin Avenue. Wall okay. two block in front mm -hmm. of the tourist office. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sounds all right. Okay, sounds all right. Y de hecho suena bien fácil. <laughs> you made it sound really easy. Okay. Yeah, guys, exactly. So whenever you're given instructions, lo más importante son quizás go straight, right, by ese recto. Probably the other one, eh, light or right, your left, or the, eh, bloques. Utilizamos muchos bloques o nombres de calles, right? All right, guys, antes que nos vayamos, teníamos algo pendiente para el día de ahora. So we had something um, that we couldn't present last class. So se relacionaba con instrucciones también. It was related to instructions. Um, recuerdo, guys, que algunos nos iban a enseñar cómo cambiar una llanta o cómo reparar algo. Um, so recuerdo, por ahí vi el dibujito del... Um, the airplane, paper airplane. Um, so guys, no sé si están listos. I don't know si pudieron, you know, ponerse de acuerdo la semana anterior. And alguien nos va a presentar del grupo. O si todos lo hacen, pues muchísimo mejor. That's even better. Um, okay. Okay. Come on, no, me. <laughs> Vaya, guys, vamos. So let's do it. Uh, si tienen me... algún dibujito, eh, pueden presentar la pantalla. You can present your screen, no problem. Ok, teacher. Abigail y Kenia, hicimos una pequeña presentación. Super, super. Let's do it. Solo voy a intentar presentar, teacher. Sí, ahorita de hecho le acabo de cambiar para que usted ya pueda tener, um, para que pueda presentar aquí. Ahí está, reciben todo lo mío. <ríe> no worries, aunque todavía no lo vemos. Ok, teacher. Estoy buscándolo. Ahorita en... Ya ve mi pantalla. Um, let me check. No, aún no. 
Ok, ¿qué está pasando entonces? ¿Está en la computadora? No, estoy en el teléfono. Ah, ok. No, pero bueno, ah, tendría sí. que... Ajá. A mí. ¿Hoy sí? ¿Hoy? Sí, sí. Ya ven. Si no, ahí me avisan. Sí. Si lo logran ver. Ok, está cargando. Ok. Ok. No va a salir en modo presentación porque por el teléfono. No worries, no worries, that's okay. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ok. Empiezo yo, ¿verdad? Yes. We're going to talk about chain tile. Eh, state by state. Next. The first step is find a safe place to stop. Then, uh, turn, on, turn on courtesy light. Uh, the step one and the step two is very important because sometimes when you change um, tires on the street and don't look for a safe place, you can have an accident. And after that, the step three is the tools. In this case, we are going to use the expert tire, road flares or triangle reflectors, jack, cone, and low range. The um, step four is Put the cone and reflect the triangle. After that, place the jack under car. And the step six is lift, lift up the car. And okay. then, Okay, for continuous, uh, number seven, remove the car nut with long range. Step eight, remove the tire from the car. Number nine, put the new tire or spider tire. Step 10, put the car nut and feeling strong. Eleven, and finally, put the car down. And number 12, mm -hmm. pick up the tool, call and verify if it is okay. Then we can continue. Only that. Thank you. I love it. Okay, that's actually really nice. I really like the pictures you selected. Um, like to for the vocabulary. That sounds amazing, girls. Thank you so much. And I really like what um uh let me see. I really like what you mentioned at the beginning that it's important to look for a safe place. Otherwise, you can have an accident. All right, amazing. I really love it. Guys, um, hay vocabulario nuevo que vieron. Did you see new vocabulary? Para que, you know, lo revisamos con las chicas too. Guys, how do you say Mika? Nuestra Mika, no es el monkey, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ni female monkey. How do you call it? Jack. De la presentación de las chicas, por ahí creo que lo, lo vieron, we saw it. Well, tenemos el jack, yes, y tenemos también la herramienta para darle vuelta a las ruedas. So, to, um, to tighten the nuts. ¿Recuerdan el nombre? Do you remember the name? Long range. There you go, that's the range, exactly. <clears throat> 
So that's the range. So that is the, the idea of a really nice job. Guys, el día de mañana seguimos con quienes nos hacen falta because of the time. Eh, solamente les robo un minutito para la asistencia, guys. Regálenme confirmación, please. Well, Miss Mendoza si está acá. Amalia, tú, Blanca, tú. Georgina. Georgina está por aquí. Gracias, Miss. Héctor. Héctor estaba acá. Mr. Sánchez. Mr. Sánchez. Thank you, Mr. Narváez. Por ahí estaba tú. Eh, Juanjo. Presente, Chef. Thank you, Julio, tú. Kenia, tú. Pablo, no. Lady. Um, por ahí la vi, creo. Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you. Noé, que se recupere, Noé. So I hope you feel better. Salvador está acá, guys. Venga, Salvador. No. Ahora sí. Ok. So Salvador, no. And uh, Abigail, Michelle, Dinora, and Amaris. Ok. Nice. Perfect. Thank you so much. Ok, guys, amazing. Thank you so much, guys. El resto que estábamos pendiente, lo vamos a presentarlos el día de mañana. And, you know, pueden buscar una fotito para que se recuerden what was uh, the process, right? Como las chicas lo hicieron. Girls, excelente trabajo. Really nice job. That was really cool. Really, really good. All right, guys. So pretty much that's everything for today. No, uh, ayúdenme porfa con la plataforma guys no se les olvide avanzar si tienen tiempito y nos vemos hasta el día de mañana I'll be seeing you tomorrow see you y tomorrow me me no. have a good night no lo no, no. no it's okay pero ya lo, ya lo anoté I already took you es que algunos um, you know I got it let me see sí ya lo anoté okay. no worries yeah. okay. <laughs> thank you I'm sorry forget it I forgot to say your name have a good night, guys. Enjoy it. Sleep well. <clears throat>